Hi Aquarius, welcome to your December 2020 reading. Yay! How exciting! So we are going to be moving into the age of Aquarius soon. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for helping us usher this in. Um, if you guys would like to have a personal reading with me, you guys know how to find me. You can check my bio box on Instagram. Just click the link that's in the bio box and then once you uh, are taken to my link tree, you will see a link to my Etsy shop. If you're on YouTube, then it's infinitely more easy. <laughs> Just look at the description box below this video and then go ahead and press Etsy. <laughs> now, I do offer readings starting at $20 and moving all the way up depending upon the level of, yes, there it is, depending upon the level of depth that you would like to have for your reading. So let's jump right in. So Aquarius, this reading is for you. We're going to go ahead and see what energies are coming up for you in the month of December. Now for the other readings, I was also hoping to get some information about, excuse me, how they could... Uh, I guess, alter themselves a little bit to get into alignment with the age of Aquarius. All right. But for you, let's just go ahead and see what comes through. I'm getting this energy that says, I know it all <laughs> for you Aquarians <laughs> for, or whoever, if you're cross watching. Now, I love, look at how high all these energies are. Aquarians, you guys are actually... Um, air signs right a lot of us think oh my god they're totally water signs because they're the water bearers and blah 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 but actually aquarians are are air signs and look at how airy this is and then look at this card boom grounding <laughs> grounding grounding <laughs> so um aquarius <laughs> they're kind of giving a nice subtle nod to you sorry a nice subtle nod to you that's saying hey you are going to be touching ground touching ground on earth right you're coming down to earth now hold on let me make sure you can see okay this is definitely a god-given energy look at this energy right here we have the ascension energies we have this image of god or god's husband who knows blowing and what happens is that you aquarians along with others but you aquarians um you carry this energy stream of that aquarian energy and so you create this channel through which these energies can be further grounded into the earth okay now oh, a few energies just hit me one second guys okay and now i'm getting a little bit of this energy it feels almost entrepreneurial now we know that aquarians tend to carry this energy of innovation right and so that's a beautiful thing i'm getting that a lot of you guys may have this kind of entrepreneurial energy pattern that lies within you so i'm getting this energy of a candy shop for some reason maybe that's significant for somebody here but at the same time there's a little bit of a warning that's coming through for you guys coming up in this month but also in the age to come to watch out for this um i don't want to say hubris because that's almost a little too strong uh hubris is that feeling that you're better than god right or it's like flying in the face of god so to speak but that's a little bit strong so i want to downgrade it a little bit to pride but pride is a little bit too weak for it so it's almost and it's not as strong as i'm the chosen one right i don't know exactly how to explain it but um they're just saying watch that pride is what we're going to call it they're saying watch that pride um I think that in this age, Aquarius, you would be very, very, very well placed if you could step into the role of teacher. So you're going to be asked to do a lot of teaching during this lifetime in general because you are carrying this stream of the Aquarius um, energy. Now that doesn't mean no other sign can be teacher can be a teacher. Of course not. But I'm just talking specific specifically about your energetic pattern, that energy ray that runs right through you, as we could see right here. Now, they're giving this word anointed, yes. I'm seeing that you've been anointed, in a sense, to carry the, this energy of this age, and it's like that's why you chose to be born within this sign of Aquarius when you, I mean, during this age of Aquarius, but to be born in Aquarius. Does that make sense? You were, 
because you choose when you'd like to be born before you come down. So I see that there are a lot of gifts, skills and gifts that you will be carrying that are going to be unlocked. Some of these things are already unlocked for you. But again, because you're going to be so pivotal during this time, Spirit is saying that they would like you to make sure that you avoid getting into this place of, uh, let's say, overcompensation. <laughs> They're so they're so um, diplomatic. Okay, so basically, you'd come in and and play the role of teacher. Don't get your head blown up so much. <laughs> okay. Obviously, not that's not all of you. Oh my God! They just brought my attention to this one card that wasn't flipped over. What is this? Oh, power of the divine the divine masculine. Interesting. We're gonna see how that. Why did I not see that card at all? I didn't see that card at all, you guys. So we're going to see how that card comes into play as we go through this reading. So let's see what's, what's going on for them in the month of December. What's going on? Okay, yeah, there's the winter card here. I'm hearing the word slowing it down. And it's interesting because before I did this reading, um, my guide said, you're going to have to slow it down for this this reading and in fact i really tried to slow down the way i was talking even right now but you know i just go fast so i'm gonna slow it down for whatever reason and we'll see what information is coming up yes i'm just getting a lot oh, okay thank you I feel like I'm slowing it down a bit because they're also bringing through energetic codes. That's what it is. Because I'm feeling a lot of energetic codes coming through. I don't know if you guys are feeling them, but energetic codes, for those of you who don't um, may not know the term, that just refers to encoded information that's coming um, towards you. <laughs> that, that's, that, I guess, is coming through towards you. So they're downloading, you're being downloaded, let's say, with information for your dna for your body for your consciousness whatever and i'm getting a lot of um yes intuitive abilities thank you i'm getting a lot of intuitive abilities but i also was picking up on some entrepreneurial stuff we felt earlier i'm feeling some technological stuff interestingly some archaeological stuff for some of you as well so right now um make sure that you drink water after this call because after you're done watching this video because they're doing some energy work on you there's some other stuff coming in as well i'm seeing innovations in parenting and babysitting for some of you that is relevant um that's no wonder this door is open right here so we're just going to let these energies come in for a second okay they're also giving this idea giving you this idea that i'm feeling a little bit of grief hold on <gasps> Oh, excuse me. It's very, very common to um, yawn when, especially for me, when a lot of energies are coming in. So um, what, I, what I'd like to tell you is that they're talking to us a little bit about some grief that some of you are carrying. For some reason, you guys may be carrying this in your individual lives just because of your sacred curriculum. But of course, for some of you, this could also be along the stream of your Aquarian consciousness and whatnot. So take it as it resonates but you're carrying some grief there's almost this feeling like i wanted to it's like feeling at a loss because you wanted to create more change going into december up until the end of this age because you remember you guys are here watching the video right at this conscious level like with me janelle right but also watching the video are these higher aspects of you that are re for, that are getting something energetically and informationally <laughs> i said that out of this reading and so there are higher aspects of you also gathering information from this co-creation is what the guides just said <laughs> I didn't have to say it like that. <laughs> yeah. So they're also here taking notes and gathering information. And so, so funny. And so for them, some of them may, these higher aspects of you may be feeling grief because they wanted to um, make more change leading into the age of Aquarius. Now, 
Spirit is coming through saying, don't feel badly about it. Don't feel bad about it at all. Because they're showing this card. Look at this. Especially if, you, if some of you are carrying those indigo energies. It's like, oh man, I really was hoping that by the time this age happened, that, you know, by the time December 21st, 2020 came around or whenever, um, that this, this uh, let's say this, um, God, the word is escaping me. This institution would have been... <gasps> Oh, excuse me, dismantled. Okay, thank you. The guides are saying that they've just finished doing the downloads. Okay, thank you, guides. Yay, thank you. Some of you, I bet you felt that. I bet you felt all those energies, okay? That transmission. And if you didn't, don't worry, you still got it. Um, yes, but they're saying that you can't worry about these things. Every age comes and goes, and there's always something that's left to be done. <laughs> but you just have to trust that it it will all right itself in in the end so to speak okay i'm seeing some parallels here they're saying that a lot of you guys in the parallels <laughs> believe it or not i'm gonna get up and show you you can see this parallel here just as i got up and i i, I came back here i looked at it at the time and it's at 11 minutes so there's that angel see these angel energies they're coming through with an angel message um some of you oh i just looked at the time again 11 11 okay 11 minutes 11 seconds so listen up they're saying here that um some of you guys watching this video are incarnated angel incarnated angels in other words you have higher aspects of you that belong to the angelic realm okay and um you will know who you are they they may tap you on the shoulder some of you already know who you are already i'm not telling you anything new <laughs> and some of you are like i wonder if i you know and that's that's fine you can ask right um but either way spirit is saying that those energies are going to be coming online as well so in the energetic codes that they have just uh given to us some of you or if if not all of you are carrying um some angelic codes as well and those have been imparted now they're saying drink lots of water now these codes and whatnot are going to i don't want to say install themselves but <laughs> they're going to open up into you they're going to activate let's say that but the guides are giving this really cute um image that i love they're saying drink lots of water it's like a nice little psa drink lots of water after this in the days to come because the more water you drink the more you allow that information to bloom within you right and that's a good way of looking at it because a lot of times people come and they do the energy work and they forget dude you got to drink water because when you drink the water it allows for um these energy energetic frequencies to flow through much easily much more easily now if you don't do that what happens is you may end up getting sick or you may end up having uh muscle cramps all sorts of physical symptoms because what's happening is that the energy is not allowed to flow and so this new energy that's coming in is seen as other or seen as something else or foreign to this old energy that's in you and it may they start may start to attack each other <laughs> in a sense or sometimes um it, it the old energy won't leave and so the new energy is like now crammed in there and it's like creating this tension so you have these muscle aches so please make sure that you drink 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 a lot of water okay is what spirit our spirit guides are saying thanks guides They're our local psas <laughs> okay let's go ahead and use some some of these cards for you aquarius whoopsies oh this one <laughs> building energy so i'm getting this energy of coming back to the basics with building and i feel like some of you guys who are here some of whom are watching this video but a lot of people who are here on this earth at this time um were here around the beginning of um, the age of pisces and around other pivotal beginnings of other ages why so that they could help build up within the new age so now that we're having this transition happen and it's been happening for decades right and you have builders here already actively some of them know who ex exactly who they are and some do not <laughs> and that's fine because they're still doing their job now um some of you watching this you you may be builders and so your job is going to be to help build within this new arena okay <clears throat> Yeah, and they're saying that you're going to get a break this time. You're going to have breaks. 
So don't worry about it. So I, cause I'm seeing you helping to clear away the rubble. Can you guys see? Oops, goodness gracious. Ah, I need like a, a video guy or something. <laughs> um, so you see, it's like you're this mermaid and you're helping to get rid of things that no longer serve this age. Now, how that manifests for you guys is going to be, I mean, it's going to differ, right? You may be involved in court cases, for example, either like as the attorney or as the, or the person making the complaint or the person being, you know, complained against or the judge or just whatever. You may have a role in some way in something that creates legislation or that, or that teaches something. You may be teachers. You may start up something whatever it is whatever it is that you do helps to dismantle the old energies and make way for the new so some of you guys are actively helping with that and some of you are actually helping not only to clear away but also to actively produce in the world so what does that look like for um us in the physical it could look like you erecting businesses it look it could look like you publishing things it it could be a lot and then we again we have the sanctuary card so what i'm seeing is they're saying this time around you're going to have a chance to rest because i mean considering and i don't know why you're going to have a quote unquote chance to rest quote unquote this time around <laughs> but i i feel that it has something to do with the technologies that exist today that allow you to work more efficiently and to work quicker um I mean, that's pretty much redundant, but also I feel like you're working. Yeah, this is it also. You're working at a, in an age where a lot of people are already kind of on the same circuit, so to speak. That's, that's very, very specific the way that they said that a lot of people are on the same circuit. We're all kind of in the same place. So you don't have to work 10 million times as hard to con to convince people about something or to try to get them to see another way of life and no because we live in a world where people are have woken up a lot a lot <laughs> actually so you can have conversations like this with a lot of people and so therefore what i'm trying to say is you'll have time to rest because um, the infrastructure on this earth allows for you to do your job a lot more easily and because um and because it's your job's just going to be a little bit easier this time around. Yay! Again, these are not just for those of you who carry Aquarius in your energy. If you're watching this video and you're like, I don't have Aquarius anywhere in my chart, it doesn't matter. You were drawn to this video for this specific um, message, okay? Kind of feeling like the like we're done here. But I do, you know, I'm going to call, I'm going to use these cards on you guys because they carry just enough fire. Now, it's interesting because Aquarius, you're coming through and I think that <clears throat> I actually have a like throat, my throat's actually getting a little sore from all these readings. <laughs> I didn't do that many today, but um, Aquarius, I feel that you're coming through with a little bit of quote unquote battle armor. And when I say battle armor, it's like you're coming through to do your work here but with some battle armor and your battle armor is coming in the form of fire. And that's very, very interesting. Now, what that means is that you may well find that air, people look at this, look at this, how look at this, right? Look at her doing her work with all that fire around her. You may well find that um, you will be very good paired up with Aries, leo and sagittarian people or people who have those placements within their chart or just people who tend to have a fire energy to them now of course with with air and fire you know you don't want to it, it could be a very good working relationship because obviously fire needs air or oxygen right but you have to be careful because if you have too much air you're going to blow out the fire so what this means is that Aquarius, you're going to have, you're going to find a good um, camaraderie with people who have fire energies within them. However, you have to remember that you have to step back and allow fire people, the fire person to do their job. Okay. But you don't want the fire to get out of control because then you're going to have to blow it back a bit. <laughs> and so this is going to be about learning how to work together with fire signs and um, to temper yourself a bit. <clears throat> 
Another thing I would like to bring through here is that I do see a lot of, there's a place for your water sign people, especially if you're working on teams, Aquarians, your water sign people, your cancer, cancers, your Pisces, your Scorpios, they can remind you about the importance of emotions. Because Aquarius, I feel like you can be a little bit unemotional at times. And it's kind of like, imagine if you're the company head and you're just like, okay, let's get this done. I need this. I need that. Whatever. If you're the group head, you've got fire signs ready to get it done you know and then you've got these these sensitive more sensitive water signs and the water signs are great because they can temper the two of you because between you fire and and air y'all y'all crazy right sometimes right and so um aquarius yeah so you're gonna need a little bit of uh, a little bit of help so a really great advisor for you to have like as a personal advisor would not be fire signs it would be the water signs okay and for your right hand man to get stuff done would be fire signs okay now i do see earth signs here coming through as the grief card now that makes total sense because go back to watch my virgo reading that i told you guys i told you guys about <laughs> you're all the same people right and i did not too long ago watch the virgo reading because they talks perfectly about how earth signs may have a little bit of problem in the age of Aquarius because especially Capricorns and Virgos because they're so used to the institutional approach they're so used to dotting I's and crossing T's Aquarians just don't work that way and so that's why we have the um, earth signs coming through here with this five of cups energy it's a little bit like oh man it's that grief card but you have to if you have any earth signs on your team remember that they're they're going to be learning to think more abstractly and and do things in a different way so you're going to have to be a little sensitive with them and i would say that um imagine if you find yourself in this world where you're no longer um you're you're no longer what the world needs you're no longer working in this world where you just put one foot in front of the other and it just there you go you took a step it's it's not that linear anymore and so you, you may find yourself displaced that's how earth signs may feel a little bit until they get their footing so to speak and so make sure that you use a lot of praise with them like oh, okay wow i love how you did this you know but how about we try it this way right now we we've seen this a little bit with the i don't want to use the boomer word because i just think that's really immature but anyway <laughs> um you know like i'm not 20 so we're, we're not about that on this channel but my point is you saw that a little bit with this whole boomer movement and the whole you know the baby boomer movement movement where it's like well if you just work hard and you just and then you can get through the you know no that's not how it works anymore and then we had a lot of them needing to upgrade onto the computers and starting to learn these things and you, we had to be very um and i'm generalizing here but you had we had to be very accommodating you can't be some 23 year old punk kid trying to tell some 40 something year old person or whatever you know back when this was really going down some years ago uh you know um treating them badly just because they couldn't like find the maximize and minimize button right so you had to be patient because these are these are uh ages this is an age where things the age has changed and when i say age i mean the epoch the you know the the time has changed so if you find yourself savvy in a time you should have compassion to those who may start to feel displaced as the age happens and i do kind of personally feel that some uh earth signs will have this issue and if you have earth placements within you make sure that you take a look at in what arenas your earth placements are because those may be a little bit challenged coming you know in the in the future but it's just about getting your footing so okay aquarius i'm gonna go ahead and end this reading now so that this can fit <laughs> all right if you would like to have a reading with me let me know okay bye Mwah.